Hello, hello, Warfighter here, with a guide on how to work with textures, specifically on how to make your objects such as your bullets or camos on your guns look gold, look like brass, or maybe just look a bit nicer with the environment, with the, you know, how it looks in the world. As you can see at the moment, this is just the default, no cube map, just the default texture, not edited, nothing at all. Um, so let's go into what a cube map is. So a cube map is a six square texture that represent the reflection on an environment. So these six faces surround an object and it captures the reflections or surroundings of objects like sky boxes and environmental text reflections. So what you'll see on a scope lens for example is this. When you traverse your gun left and right, you sometimes see like a skybox in the background. Maybe, maybe you think at first that it's like the world interacting. It's not. It is just a cube map. So you'll see these textures and it's six boxes and they surround an object like a scope lens and a gun like this and bullets. So if you're getting, if you understand where I'm going, you can understand that we basically use this to manipulate our textures. So Fallout 4 doesn't have colour specular, it doesn't have metallic, it has specular and gloss. Um, so the cube maps are basically our way of doing things. We have to do it this way. We have no choice. So first of all, you want to make sure that your material actually has a cube map applied to it. So you want to go into Material Editor, go to General, and click on Environment Mapping. This will enable cube maps and then go into material, click on environment and then select your cube map. My cube map is this one, it's custom, I made it myself, um, so it's how I want it to look like, it's how I want it to be. So that is the cube map. So once we have the cube map sorted out and it's all selected, you can see now that like especially to like the mag follower, it's like it changed. It had like a a layer, as a layer of reflection to it. So as you can see, you can actually see some of the reflection. Of course, it's not as well. So now we have to tweak it because that is too bright. That doesn't look normal. It needs to be edited and it needs to be made nicer to look at and not so heavy on the eyes. So when you go into your you can use Photoshop, you can use anything you want. Anything that edits, um, edit it, edits textures. Yeah. So, the specular and gloss, it's not so important for something like a bullet, but if you want to work with gold, it will be important. So, let's do gold first. So there's different ways of doing gold. So, but for a quick and easy way of doing it, I'll just use Ah, set to 30. Okay, that'll do. So we'll set it to nearly black. So now we'll go back into here, and you can see, you can see what I mean by the environment. Cube maps. The six objects, it reflects on the object. So as you see, when you clip around, it sees the, the environment texture, if you will. Um, as I said, it surrounds it. And what you see there is what you get. So this is obviously not the cube map we want to use. So let's go back and it's the yes, use of gold cube map. Yeah. There we go. So that's gold. Okay. Well, it looks nice. You know, it's gold enough, but can we make it better or make it different? So yes, there are different ways. You can of course make the diffuse brighter, maybe. You can darken it a bit more. You don't have to make it completely black or completely bright. You know, you can tweak the values. Maybe that's the sort of gold you want. Or maybe you want it, you know, straight up gold. Like some gold camos do it this way. On my older mods, I do it this way. So as you can see, that looks nice. But if you want to make it a bit more shiny, 
you can tweak the values of your specular see if that makes a difference maybe not probably won't it does see look it makes it brighter or we'll see if we can increase the values to white you know it does that and of course you can increase the glass as well see what that does and it makes it a bit more glossier a bit more shiny I guess <laughs> so if you want to make that darker as well you can just as you can see there it's a bit it's a bit different but it's still gold and maybe you like maybe you prefer this maybe you think this looks better you know, not too much shine not too much gloss maybe you prefer it that way um, I want to show you how I do how I like my textures to be. So let's revert back. This is just a standard on how I prefer it. So that's my specular. Go back. And if you're using like a straight yellow like me, just half it. And that will do. Save that. And as you can see, that's the way I like to do it. And that looks nice. And you can do the same with any texture, like if you want it to be sapphire, maybe ruby, emerald, any colour, gold, you know, anything you want. Let's change it back to gunmetal. See, you see, that's how you work with environment maps, cube maps. That's basically how it works. Again, it's skyboxes in environment reflections. Um, that's basically what we have to do. It's annoying, yeah, but that's it. See you guys later.